It is 12:14 on the nose right now. Time to look at that weather with Storm Tracker 4 meteorologist Shay Storms. And yeah, I think a lot of people actually kind of like the warm up a little bit because it, it really was really cold there for a while. Yeah, it's nice to break it up a little bit, and this tends to happen this time of year where we have a really nice warm up, but then we have a really big cool down in our side as well. So enjoy this while it lasts. We know that it's fleeting this time of year. Uh, highs close to 80 though today through Wednesday. So a really big warm up again. This is the time to book those tea times, get outside, enjoy the outdoor because you're not going to want to do any of that later on this week. We have big changes on the way. Uh, latest timing having this start Thursday night, but it looks like the busiest day of the next 10 will be Friday where showers are looking pretty likely and it's also going to get quite cold, especially as we head towards the first half of this weekend. So if you have any outdoor plans for the first full weekend of February, well, you're going to want to uh, bundle up. It's going to be chilly. Uh, current temperatures low 70s for your Tucson or for Tucson right now. Uh, low 70s for Nogales right now. Same deal for Sassabee and Tubac out towards the east, still fighting uh, to get out of the 50s in places like Wilcox and in Pierce. But overall, it's going to be a nice warm afternoon for most of southeastern Arizona, including eastern Pima County, where we're pushing into the mid to upper 70s this afternoon. Typically, we should be in the upper 60s, so we're pushing well above normal for this time of year. Low 70s for Corona Day, Tucson and Vail, and even tonight, very mild. So for tomorrow morning, expect pretty much more of the same. You might need that jacket as you head out the door, but not those really thick coats, the gloves or the scarves not going to be that cold. However, to the south end, east, a little cool today, but above normal in the 60s. And then tonight, most of you will be above freezing, but it's still going to be cold tomorrow morning for places like Benson and Wilcox, especially where we're just above freezing. Douglas dropping down to about 38, so not as cold there, but still chilly enough that you'll want those thicker coats in Cochise County. High pressure is taking over the next few days, and that's why we're pushing well above average for this time of year through Wednesday. A little bit of cloud cover from time to time over the next few days, and maybe Maybe even a little bit of Virga for parts of Cochise County tomorrow, uh, but the rest of us will stay on the dry side and we'll see sunshine on Wednesday, but high pressure heads eastward and that's going to allow for moisture to roll through all thanks to the system near the Pacific Northwest and we're expecting this rainfall to really start to get going Thursday night. Looks like Friday will be the busiest day again with the best coverage widespread rainfall and Friday is our next potential storm tracker for alert day. Uh, commutes will be messy. I expect slower commute times. We're expecting some ponding uh, run washes, of course, wet roads and of course slick and slushy roads for the high terrain. Yes, we are tracking snow and this is the snow level. We're expecting it to start out at around 7500 feet around uh, 8 p.m. on Thursday, potentially dropping to as low as 4500 feet early Saturday morning. So some desert floors could get a little bit of snowfall. We're not expecting anything here in Tucson and unfortunately most of the moisture will be gone by Saturday, but we're expecting significant snowfall above 6000 feet and we'll keep you updated on the details and numbers as we get closer, but track rain later this week, of course, and a lot of us will pick up at least over three quarters of an inch, including Pima, Santa Cruz and uh, Pinal County out towards the east, even a half inch plus totals expected. So decent rain, decent snow on the way, still working at the timing and some details, but stay tuned as we get closer. Upper 70s next few days, upper 50s by Friday, mid 50s on Saturday with a chance for showers early in the morning, and then we'll have another round of rainfall and snowfall by next Tuesday and Wednesday.